All right, guys, uh, I saw a video had just come out from a artist, Tyson James. I've reviewed a whole shit ton of his stuff on my channel, um, but he apparently had a run-in with the uh, Child Protective Services. He is very conservative. He is very Christian, and you could imagine the liberal asshole uh government agency didn't really appreciate him or his parenting style. And so they gave him all kinds of grief. So he came out with a new song, uh, from what I understand, either providing some backlash or context or explaining the situation. Uh, I'll have to see it. I haven't seen it yet, but we're going to check it out. And it is called my kids are mine. Uh, I have, Five children of my own and I'm very uh, much on the same side where uh, a lot of people would probably not agree with how I parent if you are a psychotic woke liberal activist you would think that I'm you know like a fascist or something like that so I can't imagine what you went through sounds terrible and I've heard horror stories nothing but horror stories about these situations so I hope you got through Scott free everything's okay There we go. That was from my uh, gaming stream when I went over the horror videos. I have a horror background. Anyway, let's go. Once a child is legally kidnapped and placed in official safety, the child is far more likely to suffer abuse, including sexual molestation and or rape. Okay, this is terrible already. So obviously the peach pizza imagery is referencing Pizzagate, child sex abuse, all of that. You got him, it looks like he put on a fat suit and some uh, orange and purple hair to reenact the liberal CPS person. I'm gonna try to stay calm here. This is gonna be frustrating. Oh, okay. Uh, for abuse? including sexual molestation and or rape. Never thought it would happen to me, get a knock on the door from CPS. It's funny cause I watch my kids like a hawk, and they don't ever leave the nest. Hmm, seems weird, maybe they've been plowing with the devil, and he just wanna see me stress. Or maybe the caseworker numb but a demon, and she hates to see me bless. But I know they've been watching me, and I post about guns quite oftenly. And they know I ain't taking what they offer me, you ain't smart, go to- Shows extreme, bigot, white nationalist, racist, colonizer, all the left wing buzzwords. Yep, keep it going, Tice. See me blessed, but I know they've been watching me, and I post about guns quite oftenly. And they know I ain't taking what they offer me. You ain't smart, go to hell with your law degree. I'm too big, and you say that that's a bad sign. You kill the kids in the boom, and you can't have mine. Karen, so many abortions you parent. Now you want to teach me how to parent? Kick rocks. My job is to protect my kids from all you swine. Keep your demon fingers off, they'll be just fine I got angels by my side, so please don't cross that line God gave me these children, so my kids are mine My kids are mine, my kids are mine, my kids are mine. Keep your demon fingers off, they'll be just fine Beautiful. You got all these people to bring their kids and make videos for it. That's super cool. That's super dope. Because this is an anthem for the parents. We're so sick of this crazy shit. And they're trying to say, they have literally said, your kids are not your kids. They are the community's kids. They are all of our children. And that is not true. That is totally not true. Like, uh, ready to battle over that one. It's not even a little bit. Our kids are mine. Keep your demon fingers off. They'll be just fine. Kids are mine. I got angels by my side, so please don't cross that line. Listen, man, don't cross the line. I know CPS all lost their mind, and I promise you now that I'm not the guy. I got an army on my side and a lot behind, and we fight. All of my people are filled with the light. Come for the kids, and it won't be alright. I know you're miserable, probably a dyke, but these kids are all mine, and you don't have the right. <laughs> I know you're miserable and probably a dyke. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's a little bit on the nose, bud. 
Oh, that's good. Yeah, the childless cat ladies who think that they can parent better than you. And it's like, yeah, how's your life going? Are you happy? No. Well, you can keep that sorry ass to yourself. That I'm not the guy. I got an army on my side and a lot behind and we fight. All of my people are filled with the light. Come for the kids and it won't be all right. I know you're miserable, probably a dyke, but these kids are all mine and you don't have the right. But this happening, CPS doing the trafficking. Do more harm than good and it's maddening. Y'all cackling and y'all doing the damaging. But one day y'all gon' pay the piper. Cause I know your daddy's the viper. Get your hands off of these minors. Don't make me pull out the knife. Never mind. <laughs> You jealous when you see my oh, buddy. It's like, don't make me pull out the... Never mind. Never mind. He pulled it out, though. He did pull it out, though. He did. It's like, uh... Oh, man. That's so... That's so good. Thank you. Thank you, Tice. I appreciate you uh, smacking on that. I see in the chat, CPS tried to take the kids from my neighbor. He moved overnight and went back to Texas with his mom and dad, put the house up for sale that night. I can see that kind of stuff. Yeah. If it's like that and you're like, nope, that's it. And if you're in a blue state, there's some people that had to evac from blue states immediately because they're like, hey, we are not our parents' guardians in this place because... State laws are different than federal laws, and some of these liberal shitholes have these laws that quite literally take your kids from you if you don't abide by whatever activist, therapist, teacher, doctor, whatever says. And Tim Walls, Minnesota, he has signed into law all that crazy shit. It's like if you don't affirm the gender of the kid, then you are neglecting them. They treat that as abuse and they set up like qualified affirming foster parents for your kids while they mutilate them and chemically castrate them and all that shit because you had some crazy teacher say, hey, Timmy, do you want to go by Bella? Because you can. And then that gets fed into by a counselor and then they bring you in and say, hey, this is what's going to happen. And if you oppose it, then you're advocating for the unaliving of your kid and we're going to take them away from you. That's happened a lot. It totally has happened. Sam says, sad thing is this happens on both sides. Now, what do you mean on both sides? I'm curious. Like right versus left or man versus woman or what sides are you referring to? I'm just curious. Throw that in the chat. Viper, cause I know your daddy's the viper. Get your hands off of these minors. Don't make me pull out the never mind. Never mind. I know that you're jealous when you see my family. You can't help yourself from feeling better. To protect my kids from all you swine If you keep your demon fingers off, they'll be just fine I got angels by my side, so please don't cross that line God gave me these children, so my kids are mine My kids are mine My kids are mine, my kids are mine. Keep your Yo, that's the guy from... Hold up, hold up, back one That's the... That's the Babylon B guy, isn't it? My kids are mine that looks like the Babylon B guy. It might not be, but it looks like the guy from the Bab that owns or co-owned the Babylon B. Keep your demon fingers off, they'll be just fine. My kids are mine. My kids are mine. I got angels by my side, so please don't cross that line. Former state senator Nancy Schaefer and her husband Bruce were found dead today. I am convinced without a shadow of a doubt that our the parents across this country need to be warned of the dangers of the child protective services nationwide. Says two-time Georgia Senator Nancy Schaefer fought to expose corruption in child protective services, calling their work legal kidnapping. She and her husband were murdered slash suicided with subsequent full cover-up. She will not be forgotten. 
that's a great tribute. This song, that's that's really really cool to throw that in at the end, because all along with with the lack of information flow that we've had all this time, these people that tried to get these bits of information out paid ultimate prices to do so. So like for me, I can just share this on my stream. I could share it on X. I could post about it and it is what it is. But for people like this back when it was such a well controlled flow of information, when those leaks popped up, they poked them shut. Usually with a visit from the uh, black van and the crate, you know, and the, the clown show, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, Sam says right versus left, right and left. You can't trust either sides with your kid. I mean, I think I can say fairly plainly that I trust my wife with my children. And she and I are the ones that will be making decisions for them. So I'm not going to have, I'm not going to ask my Trump crystal ball, be like, hey, can my kids decide their gender? Not even a little bit, not even 1%. Okay, so just because Trump is right about a lot of stuff, including that, um, it doesn't mean that I'm leaving the decision to him. So in that way, I'm not gonna trust them. I mean, I guess you could say from Sam's point of view is like, look at uh, like the Bushes in war. You know, you have George Bush trying to get everyone to go attack the Middle East for years, for decades. And they very much misrepresented uh, what happened and then the uh, the actions that followed what happened. So in that way, you can't trust the right. That's where the Patriot Act came from, all that stuff. So I think, oh my gosh, we got a Rook in the house. Are you serious, Mimi? Welcome to the Rooks, guys. That's such a great way. To, 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 oh, all right, let's go.